Hi, and welcome back to the Skyrider video channel. This is Oli speaking. Today we talk about the Doppler frequency and see how it behaves in a radar. So first of all, let's look at the general setting. You see a radar in some three to four meters away from a wall. And you see me walking uh, between radar and wall from time to time. How did we design the block diagram? Let's look at it, uh, that quickly. First, we've got the signal receiver. That's where we drag the um, IQ data from the um, pulse radar. From there, we um, fetch the raw data. That's with the two raw data block. Then we suppress the source just to clean the image a bit and not, uh, not to get disturbed from the reflections of the source. Then there's another block for purification. We focus on a certain signal range, meaning we select a range cell area, which is, of course, in the proximity of uh, uh, the radio from um, 0 to uh, 4 meters. That's where we put the A scope so that we have a a clean image of uh, what's going on without any additional uh, velocity filter or so. After that we put the MTI block, the moving target indication. This is where we want to get rid of static uh, data and focus really on the movement. Then we have the burst block. What does that one do? It actually creates a matrix from a sequence of frames over the range cells that we are looking at. Afterwards, we use the Blackman window. I really advise, if you want to dive deep there, look at our article about uh, the Windows functions. Afterwards, the fast Fourier transform. And then we get to the 3D scopes. And let's actually look at the effect. On the right, you see the 3D scope. In the back, there's the x-axis. Um, at the zero point, you've got the radar. And now we will and then the video where I'm walking, I'm standing still in the back. You see, when I'm walking towards, uh, the movement goes to the left side of the z-axis. And I'm moving backwards. You see how it goes to the right side of the z-axis. When I'm standing still, it's static. It's in the middle. When I'm walking forward again, it's uh, the left side again. Standing in front of it. The a scope helps you to get orientation a little bit because you see the amplitude of myself moving forth and back. I'm just repeating the sequence so that you can look at it again. See what happens when I'm approaching on the x-axis. Where is the, the movement on the x-axis? What happens when I'm distancing my, myself from the radar? Look at the movement on the right side of the z-axis. And uh, when I'm gone, you see that the 3D scope auto adapts on, uh, there's no movement anymore, so it amplifies uh, the noise and the reflections from the wall. Also interesting to see. So, if you want to read more about this, go to our website www.skyradar.com. We have a couple of articles written about that mirroring effect. I think you're going to like it. Take care. And see you soon at skyradar.com. Bye.